Now, as we welcome 2021, healthcare workers are pleading with Ohioans to make slowing the spread of COVID-19 one of their New Year's resolutions. News 5's Emily Hamilton has more from healthcare heroes who say this virus is not going away with the end of a very difficult calendar year. <laughs> Rewind. Difficult doesn't even begin to describe it. It's, it was just a really trying time. To this time last year. February, March, we had no idea what we were getting into. COVID-19 cases were already surging overseas before the virus made its documented arrival in the U.S. It was overwhelming the amount of, you know, patients that we were seeing, like COVID and non-COVID patients, because there was a lack of, um, accessibility for a lot of people when it came to health care. Now claiming the lives of 346,000 Americans and nearly 2 million people worldwide. Now we're still very much deep in the woods. There are still lots of people that are dying. You know, the vaccine is rolling out incredibly slowly. Healthcare workers say just because we've turned the page to a new year doesn't mean we've nearly closed the chapter on the virus. Everybody is tired and it's sad to continue to live a life where you don't get to, you know, do all the things that you want to do. But do you want to have that life right now? We have to make the sacrifices. Samantha Hanna, a registered nurse, and Dr. Amy Edwards, both familiar with the burnout among healthcare workers. There's been a few times that I would like dread going into work because I didn't know what was like what I was going to encounter when I got there. I unfortunately know people who ended their life. Um, who commit suicide uh, under the pressure of this year. It's been difficult. Despite cases surging across the U.S. and here at home. This has been a big year of people looking outside of themselves, and I think that that in itself is a wonderful thing. These healthcare heroes say there is hope in 2021. Now that Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving is over, as people say, you know what, for January and February, now that all the holidays are over, I can go back to isolating, to keeping my family at home. If we all come together. Let's flatten this curve. Let's get rid of this third wave. Let's not have a fourth wave. And there is a vaccine coming, so there is an end in sight. Emily Hamilton, News 5.